Hawks lose to St. Louis 3-1. Again, the tank is on, and we have the tank commander of the night in this one. Because, frankly, he blew it for the Hawks. The Hawks played a good performance. Second period of play, not so much. They were hot garbage in the second period. But Alex Stalock kept the Hawks in it by one goal. So, this game lost by a massive gaff by one of the Blackhawks forwards tonight, and we'll get into it. I'm going to write him tonight, a whole new one, because this was unacceptable. You're playing against a team, a rival. I get it. We're tanking. We're sucking hard for Bedard, and we're clearly doing well at that. But losing to a rival in St. Louis always sucks. And, well, Boris Kachuk, congratulations. You're the tank commander of the night for the Chicago Blackhawks. This game was well performed in the first and third periods of play. Hawks really did not have much going for themselves in the second period. After taking an early penalty in the second period of play, it gave all momentum to St. Louis, and St. Louis was able to capitalize. But the Hawks were able to get a power play, and they were able to capitalize on the power play. St. Louis was not, but they were able to manage and control play for the entirety of the second period of play. Because this just shows it alone. Shots on net per period. In the first period, it was 11-9 to in favor for your Chicago Blackhawks. Second period, 5-15 to for the Blues. Third period, 6-5. to for your Blackhawks, total shots on net, 22 to 29 for St. Louis. Power play, 1 for 2 for the Hawks, 0 for 3 for St. Louis. Face-off percentage, as per usual, the Hawks win at the dot, but it was kind of split tonight. It was 51% for the Hawks to the Blues uh, at the dot at basically 49%. Hits. Not as many hits, and this is one of the few games the Hawks have been out hit in a game. 17 to 22 in favor for St. Louis. Block shots 10 to 13 in favor for St. Louis. So let's get to the goals of the game, shall we? In the first period, as per usual, what is the odds? The Hawks give up the first goal? Well, it happens again. This time off the referee. Jack Johnson has the puck on the corner board. He tries to clear it around the ice. It goes off the skates of the ref onto the sticks of bl the Blues from Torpachenko to Walker to Levo. It's a 1-0 game for St. Louis. Levo with his third of the season, second versus the Blackhawks this year. Josh Levo, a guy I honestly thought was out of the freaking NHL scoring against the Hawks, continues. This is how bad this team is. They give up the first goal each and every night, and, well, we do it consistently. It's not even funny. But tonight, the Hawks were able to battle back, and they were battling hard in the first period because they were able to get a power play midway through the first, and they were able to capitalize on it. At 9-13 in the first period, scored by number 88, Patrick Kane. His sixth goal of the season, assisted by number four, Steph Jones. And number 13, Max Domi. To make it a 1-1 game, King gets the puck, and he just gets the right... He rips it through the screens up front of Bennington, and we are tied. And that tie game goes into the second period at one apiece. In the first period, the Hawks, after that goal... Got momentum. They were controlling play. It was all Blackhawks for the rest of the period. They kept the puck in the offensive zone, keeping the board battles in favor for themselves, but they weren't able to get another goal. We go to the second period, and well, St. Louis gets an early power play. Hawks kill it, but St. Louis was able to build momentum off of it because at 840 in this second period, Callie Rosen. From the tank commander of the night, Boris Kachuk. Yes, 
This is why he gets the Tank Commander of the Night Award, as Boris Kachuk backhand blindedly throws the puck into the slot of the defensive zone right onto Callie Rosen's stick, and he just gets an easy goal. It's his fourth of the season because Boris Kachuk costs the Hawks, and it's a 2-1 game for St. Louis. Before this goal happened, though, we do have to admit, Alex Daylock was on his head. He was keeping the Hawks in it, and he did by throwing his stick over the net, making a save that way. But, uh, but, uh, but after that, Boris Kachuk, with the largest what-the-hell-are-you-thinking in NHL history, happens. He Gets his greatest pass, I guess, but it's to the wrong team. Boris Kachuk should not be in the Blackhawks roster, and he's honestly has been costly each time he is in the lineup. And, well, Rosen gets his fourth of the season, and we're down by a goal. And after that, it was all St. Louis. They were controlling play, keeping the Hawks on their heels, stuck in the defensive zone, Alex Daylock having to bail out the Hawks, and we go to the third period, just down by a goal. And in the third period, the Hawks started to find their game that they had going for themselves in the first period. And, well, they played it well. Hawks killed a penalty, though, and St. Louis could not get much momentum. Hawks was able to control play, get the puck up in the offensive zone, but they weren't able to find the back of the net. There was a couple opportunities the Hawks could have tied the game. They didn't. And, well, Hawks pulled the netminder and Alex Stalock with just about a minute and a half remaining at 9.45 in the third period. The trader himself, Brandon Saad, with his eighth of the season, assisted by Justin Falk throwing the puck 200 feet down the ice to make it a... 3-1 final for St. Louis. This game was a loss by Boris Kachuk. Frankly, it is. His gaffe, I mean, a real big gaffe, gave him my new award, I'm calling it, the Tank Commander of the Night Award, and he gets it because he was bad. And... Down in the comments down below, I want to hear what your thoughts were on tonight's action, and thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, the tank commander of the night is um, Boris Kachuk, helping the Hawks for the tanking prize of Connor Bedard. Hopefully we get him at the draft lottery.